Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a story time video. I guess this is sort of like a follow up video to how I got cheated on story time, what happened with me and that guy afterwards. I'm gonna try not to cry while making this video. I'm not gonna put up a front and act like I didn't care. I cared a lot and it hurt me a lot to hear about these things that he did while we were together and after we broke up. But please watch till the end and if you haven't already, check out the how I got cheated on story time because that explains the preface to this video. So he was already walking on thin ice. I found out he was talking to a girl behind my back and I found out because I talked on the phone with this girl. She told me everything. She told me he was texting her, trying to see her, all this stuff. I was just like, I don't even care anymore. I'm done. Don't know if he saw her or not, but I did find girl stuff in his truck just like last time when I found out he was cheating on me. So that's kind of like his little trademark when he cheats. I don't know. He was stalking me after we broke up and it was really, really bad. I almost got a restraining order. He would show up at my dorm. He would show up at the guy I was dating after him's house in the middle of the night to see if my car was there. He wouldn't stop calling and texting me. I had to block him. He would leave stuff in my car. He actually proposed to me because when we first broke up, me and him had seen each other to have some closure and get our belongings and everything from each other. He got a ring. It was a promise slash engagement ring. He asked me to marry him. I said, no, you're crazy. He posted a YouTube video with a collage of videos and pictures of us to music trying to get me back. At the beginning had like a Star Wars intro. I'm not gonna link that below. It's actually really embarrassing. He wanted me back. Like he tried everything he could to get me back. I wouldn't take him back. Except for this one time he and I did talk and I'm gonna be honest, like it felt good to see him. I felt like I was finally capable of having an adult conversation with him without getting too emotional. So we're sitting there and we're talking about everything that's happened since we broke up. And I asked if he had kissed anybody. I didn't expect him to say yes because he was so crazy in love with me trying to get me back and stuff so but he was like yeah I have and I asked who he told me it was like three different girls which it ended up being like 15 or something crazy like that way more than he told me you have to understand this guy is a compulsive liar he's also a very good liar he knows how to appeal to people's emotions and really make people feel sorry for him and that's what he did to get with a lot of these girls he was telling everyone I was this horrible person like I just left him out in the cold and got this new boyfriend and I was fed up for months before I broke up with him. I gave this guy numerous chances. It wasn't like it was just one day I decided to break up with him. He tells me that he slept with someone and I was even more shocked. I didn't think that he had even kissed a girl and now he slept with someone. I was like, oh. So I was supposed to go to his brother's wedding with him and it was in Nebraska. And he said it was someone in Nebraska. And I was like, oh. So it's just some person you randomly just met and he got really defensive like no, 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 no I've known her for like a really long time and he tells me it was Leslie Who is his sister? So they have the same brother. I honestly don't know if they're blood related or not I, I'm, I don't know either way his family refers to her as his sister Leslie and They had sex and get this it was the day before the wedding so the next day they walked down the aisle together because they were like the siblings like in the wedding, you know, and I was supposed to be at this wedding with him. I was like, would you have done that if I was there? Like, I am just like taken back for words like, wait, what? And then he's telling me like that his cousin walked in on them and his brother can never find out or like ruin his life and all this stuff. Out of all the girls, why wouldn't you tell me about a normal one? Like if you're going to lie and confess only one girl, why would you pick the sister? I'm just speculating here, but it sounds like it happened while we were dating and he had a guilty conscience about it. That's why he admitted to her. And so I don't know why, but we ended up having each other's phones and I was like looking at his messages, like right in front of him. And then I see a bunch of stuff that wasn't cool. Like he was telling girls that he was talking to behind my back when we were dating, like you were always a threat and you still are, like all this stuff to them. He told some girl that he had like a fat crush on her while he was dating me and she's like, you had a girlfriend? He's like, yeah, I was in love but I always liked you. And he wrote her like a love letter or something while we were together, I don't know. And I'm gonna be honest, when you date someone for a long time, it is heart shattering to read messages like that saying that he liked other people the whole time that you guys were dating when you already know that he cheated and everything else it is awful it sucks and you honestly feel horrible you feel like you meant nothing to the person the whole entire relationship so when we were dating we both agreed we would delete snapchat because we just didn't want other people getting in our relationship like that was happening a lot so that I found out when we were dating like he was using it the whole time snapchatting other girls and I found out because he literally has the same password for everything 
And so I logged in and I saw it that he was using it and who his best friends were. And I opened some of his snaps. This is when we were doing long distance. I found this girl had sent him nudes on his Snapchat. He told me that they like worked on a project together and he's like, oh, she's crazy. She's a slut. She just randomly sent me those. Like, I don't know. I don't even give her my Snapchat. He ends up like talking to her after we break up. He was talking to a bunch of girls, basically. All the girls and the lies just came pouring out. Then there's someone in his contacts by a name I do not remember. It was a fake name. He had literally changed this person's contact name to cover up who they really were. And this comes back to bite him in the ass later. He freaks out. He literally knocks the phone out of my hand and we're arguing and he gets really loud. I said like, leave, like you need to leave my dorm, like leave. Cause I didn't want to get like in trouble or something. It was kind of late. I was like, leave. Like, I don't even want you here anymore. Leave. Like I'm done. And like, sorry, nice talk. Bye. Like get out of my dorm. He's arguing with me. Like, please let me stay. I'm like, no, you just knocked the phone out of my hands. Like what's so bad? I can't see it. Like you said, the worst thing you did was sleep with your sister. Like, why can't I see this? So I, I finally, he explains that it was a fake contact name because he was covering up who it really was. And he said the name of the person, Julie, who was a girl that he used to sneak around with behind my back when I lived in California the first time. So uh, yeah, he was talking to her. He told her that he loved her and it was clear in the messages that he had drove like six hours to go see her and spend the night in her dorm or whatever happened. Any person with a brain could look at the context clues. You have to know the whole entire backstory, which I'm not gonna explain on here. It was obvious that they were hooking up the whole relationship. I wasn't even really thinking about myself at first. I thought about his best friend, Bobby. His best friend since preschool, that was like his girl. Like they had major history. It was just like an on and off thing. They were trying to work their stuff out and get back together. And like out of any girl, like this is like the girl. You know, everyone has that one person, their best friend definitely should not hook up with that person. And he, he knew this, he knew this. And I said, I'm gonna tell Bobby. Bobby deserves to know. And you know what, I was sick of everyone looking at me like the bad guy. I had been protecting him for so long, like no one even knew half the stuff that he did to me. Cause he turned all his friends against me for a minute there. He told them, you know, I'm so heartless, I broke up with him. And so he freaked out, told me that if I told his best friend Bobby, he would kill himself and it would be my fault. So obviously I didn't tell his best friend. I still cared about him as a person. Like he was so awful to me and did so many things and really just took advantage of me and used me for like two years and was sneaking around the whole relationship, but I still cared about him. And so I bit my tongue and whatever. We just argued and then he ended up leaving and I didn't speak to him for months after that. So I still didn't tell Bobby and Bobby had called me and we had been in contact because Bobby was saying, you broke his heart. Like you're such a horrible person. Like all oh, there was just a bunch of drama because Bobby had no idea. And I still, once again, kept my mouth shut because I cared about Gabe and I wanted to protect him because I'm stupid. And so, yeah, anyways, a couple months pass and I'm out in Ohio for Christmas. And this is right after Caleb and I broke up and Gabe and I actually talked on the phone. He's in Nebraska again for Christmas. He calls me and I'm like, aren't you with your sister? Like, come on, you're in Nebraska. And he's like, no, I haven't even seen her. And he's telling me like, I'm so disgusted with myself that I did that. You don't know how bad I feel. I would never do it again. Like, I hate myself for it. I regret it, Allie. Like, it's my biggest, like, regret in my life. Like, please don't use it against me. I feel so bad. And I was, like, giving in to his BS. He actually made me cry. He was being so mean, just trying to make me feel horrible. And I really, like, give in to that stuff. Like, it makes me feel bad. And so he's telling me that he hasn't kissed anyone, hasn't done anything with anyone, like, since we talked last besides his sister, right? And like the other girls that I found out about, which was a lot of girls. He was trying to see me in Ohio and that wasn't gonna fly, that that was not happening. But I mean, as you know, in my last story time video, he literally just showed up that time. So he was perfectly capable of doing that again. The next day, Bobby calls me, his best friend, and Bobby found out about everything. Bobby wanted to know the truth. I, I, I couldn't lie at that point. He already knew what happened. He already knew that Gabe had gone with this girl. I didn't even want to snitch on Gabe. Like I felt horrible. And um, which I, honestly, I again, I don't know why I was trying to protect him, but I was. At this point, no questions asked. Bobby was just like, Allie, I, I, everything you say from this point on, I believe you. He is a scumbag. He's a liar. So Gabe had told me too when we broke up, he's like, yeah, all my friends know it was my fault. They all know that I messed up. They all know I cheated. They all know that I completely deserve this. No, all his friends thought that I just totally screwed him over for no reason. And it really sucked throughout the whole time too, because 
I was really close with like some of his friends and they all just didn't like me after that because they believed everything he said. He tried to get with all his other best friends, girls too. Like this wasn't just a one time occurrence. Trying to act like, oh, he's Mr. Steel, yo girl. No, he's Mr. Stock, yo girl. These girls didn't even want him. And so all his friends dropped him. They all called me apologizing. So then all of a sudden it's all switched. When this was first happening, I felt really bad because Gabe and I were just on the phone and he and I were cool and I didn't want him to think I just totally backstabbed him. But then Bobby and Every, all his other friends start telling me everything that he had said about me behind my back since we broke up which was awful horrible things lies he even told some people that I cheated on him or he set it up to look that way because I got in a relationship right after we broke up the guy I was dating at the time I didn't even meet him until Gabe and I broke up so that's not even possible this was the moment I realized he was a liar he was always gonna be a liar and I could never trust him he was never gonna change he had lied about uh, substance and a lot of other things that I take really seriously like he's on academic probation right now because he never went to class last semester because he was going out and doing all this stuff so Lauren is this girl that he talked to before we dated and kind of during the relationship I'm assuming because the second we break up he's talking to her again and apparently she came up here and he like explicitly lied to me about this Turns out, like, she came up and she spent the night at his house. She tells him, Gabe, if you get five stars in GTA, I'll have sex with you. So he's up all night, like, trying to get five stars and he can't do it. So finally she falls asleep. I heard that and I was dying. Like, oh my god, you made a bet to have sex with someone? You're really that desperate? You bet over a video game he was messing around with like a 15 year old girl and he's 20 years old in conclusion guys this just goes to show uh thank god i had somewhat of a brain after we broke up because if i would have taken it back i would never have known about any of this stuff he legit tried to act like she took advantage of him while he was drunk he totally went oh she wanted me i i didn't even want to do it i regret it it was gross but he did it twice and so he acted all embarrassed like he regretted it no he was super proud of it he was telling all his homies like yeah i banged my cousin and then he ended up admitting to some of them like guys it was actually my sister like don't tell anyone and then he tells angie who's like my bff now and she told me that when he was there over christmas he did it again which he I, I, like oh wow you were so ashamed of yourself that you slept with her another time so not only did he have sex with his sister he liked it like so freaking gross so this was obviously like a thing and that is also reinforces the idea that it probably happened while we were together i want to believe that didn't happen but i'm at the point where i wouldn't put it past him because everything else under the sun that i didn't want to believe happened to be the truth i never would have made this video a couple months ago because i was trying to say you know what what happened happened i want to just respect that and leave the relationship be but no at this point it's blatantly clear that i was a joke and i have no respect for him whatsoever so yeah making this video because it's hilarious that he slept with his sister i'm just so much happier now that i've gotten out of that toxic relationship shout out to all my best friends who called it from the start but honestly i think he had a lot of us fooled including his own best friend since childhood give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave a comment below letting me know what you guys think about the situation i know i was stupid and naive so no one no one needs to comment telling me that but don't forget to subscribe to my channel i post new videos every week and i love you guys so much thank you for watching have a great day bye